We lost, we're running a, a city that used to be full employment for the most of the last 25 years. We're running 20% unemployment right now. And, and with that, the, the economics are just so down. From your calculations, from what you know of the city, how many Juarezes do you think have fled from Juarez? About, we have right now 15 to 20,000 vacant homes, uh, abandoned homes. Uh, those homes are definitely related to people going back to their places of origin. Uh, so we estimate about 100,000 people have gone back uh, to the places of origin. And, and I think when they get the opportunity to work, uh, they'll probably be back. Uh, it's, uh, but since there's no work for them right now, it's, uh, it's a good decision to go back to where you have a support system to help you out. We used to have visits to, for somebody to go to have lunch and to have a couple of beers and maybe go dancing. Uh, that has stopped mainly uh, for the two reasons that, that we discussed today. One is the security issue and the other one is that uh, the U.S. the North American Travel Initiative came into force uh, February 2008 and, and required that somebody has a, a passport to go into, into Mexico and, and walk back. Uh, which is what many Americans used to do. And, and, and it's just so expensive to get a passport that uh, most Americans won't, won't do it. So uh, uh, the, that tourism we have lost uh, tremendously. He, he is the, the candidate of my, my party. I, uh, I, I am endorsing my, my party for, for the mayoral race. So the three mm -hmm. years prior to your administration, mm -hmm. where it was infiltrated with corruption, as you said, you still plan to endorse the mayor that was in charge during that time? Well, I think the, the, uh, there has to be a cont continuity of what we're doing. I, uh, things weren't like we, uh, they are right now, and, and uh, uh, I don't know that uh, they could have done what we have done. Uh, this time, but I am sure they need to continue what we're doing uh, in the future. Only the weapons used in crime in Mexico are coming from the United States. I, th I, th I think they are. They are uh, the the kind of weapons they use are not used by the Mexican military. Uh, so the, the AK-47s they are uh, they're not used by the Mexican military. They are the weapon of choice of, of criminals, and, and they're definitely coming from the U.S. Has your office made any concerted effort to push for the prosecution or the investigation of the murder reporter from Madero, Concho Rodriguez? Yes. Hmm. What, is the pro what, is, what is the update on the investigation? Uh, they, they, uh, they don't have a... Uh, no. Mm -hmm.